So if you do an audible for the, the, the tight end hot routes, you've got a streak, you've got an out in curl, and then you have the delay fade, the drag, and all that kind of stuff. But look what happens when you motion this guy over. You motion him over, and you go ahead and do the hot routes again with this U wide receiver. Look, you've got a slant and a zig. So just think about this. You, you have the ba basically the ability to do a quick slant or a zig route on the back side against your opponent. This is going to make it very, very difficult for him to stop um, these concepts. Hey man, this is Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and skis I post on my channel, guys. If I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I want to go ahead and say, uh, show you uh, basically a tip that I discovered or just a unique um, adjustment or, or audible set um, out of a formation out of the Carolina Panthers playbook. So the formations out of the pistol ace why off and uh, what I've noticed is that uh, you know your standard audibles for most tight ends are, are basically going to be you know either streak and out and in a curl uh, block and release flat block and block and release cross drag and uh, basically delayed fade you, not a very not a very good audibles. I remember back in the day, I used to be able to go ahead and put slants up with my tight ends uh, and do a streak underneath it. But I want to show you that now in this particular formation, if you motion this guy over, you actually have access to some of the old audibles. Um, basically, a fade route. Um, you've also got access to. Um, um, a slant route or a zig route and this really opens up your scheme so I want to kind of show you on how a slant route gives you some fairly easy reads underneath and it makes it very difficult for your opponent to stop so watch this slant and how quickly this guy gets out um, out for me with the slant route and it's just a great thing to have in your arsenal against your opponent so let's just go ahead and take a look at this real quick we're gonna motion this guy over we're going to put him on a slant, and then we're going to slide him back. Now, uh, you don't have to slide him back. I actually built the entire scheme out uh, with uh, for my patrons where I'm leaving my guy over like that. But watch the slant. The slant actually just gets underneath the coverages really quick, and it's going to give you an easy completion right over the middle of the zone if you have some type of a clear-out route. So this is a really, really good thing to have in your back pocket uh, for that. I'll give you an example, too. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and do a whip route. Uh, with this particular route with this tight end and this gives me a check down that I can hit my opponent for some big yards underneath with the whip route. So I would go ahead and try to take a look at some of these U off plays and see if you motion these guys over if you can actually go ahead and get yourself uh, special audibles with either slants or with whip routes because this this d definitely will open up your scheme a little bit and catch your opponent off guard especially if you've got a really good set of tight ends so guys this is a quick tip if you want to see a full scheme you can go to my patreon for a buck uh, for one dollar you can see me breaking down a bunch of different plays out of the panthers but you can find this pretty good formation um, in the um, the pistol playbook and also in spread i know spread's been very popular recently a lot of other um, uh, madden youtubers have been using the spread I'm breaking that down but take a look at this, this this unique option and most players are not going to be used to actually defending slants uh, by their tight ends and they actually would just get just an easy five or six yards this is something to have in your back pocket when you know you get a first down so uh, guys if you do like these type of tips if this is something unique go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification icon because what I'll do is I'm in the lab constantly trying to find little things and if you can give yourself a competitive advantage it definitely will help you a lot so thanks for your support guys until next time